Yeah, and welcome, welcome, welcome to Pop Stash Pop. So today we're gonna do an awesome, super easy country song. Awesome, awesome tune. If you wanna help, if you wanna help, if you want help strumming, go ahead and click that link below. That video is not on YouTube, and it'll really help you with your strumming, which we definitely need doing all these pop and country tunes. So other than that, this song's super simple. We're gonna give a couple of different ways to play it. We're gonna do the same progression, but a couple different styles with our right hand, muted, strum. You know, so if you're in a band, it can work, or if you're playing by yourself for some friends or at a coffee shop gig, it'll work there too. So let's zoom in for a closer look and get to it. All right, so let's break down this tune. Now this tune, everybody out there can do. I know you can do it. So before you can do it though, you gotta tune your guitar down to E flat. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to, but if you want to play along with the song, right? So that's tuned everything down a half step, and then this guy, you got to match with your D string. It's called drop D tuning. It's that real big, deep sounding awesomeness. Now, what's cool about that tuning, just in case you don't know, is you can do chords with one finger. Just hit the top two strings on one fret, and you've got yourself a chord. It's awesome. So, the song starts we're gonna go five and seven on the A and D strings, and we're gonna palm you. Well, you don't have to palm me. Since it's the intro, you can make it big. Okay, we're gonna think of groups of eight. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're gonna take this exact same shape and move it down to two and four, same strings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then all you have to do is move this finger down a group of strings and take your third finger off, which makes an A chord. One, two, and then with this next one, I'm gonna go fingers three and four on the fifth string, or the, and the sixth string, the fifth fret is what I meant to say, but fifth and sixth strings. And it gets a G chord. Now, I know it looks like it's an A, but remember this one's tuned down, this string right here tuned down a whole step. So, it's a G chord. If you wanted to play the whole thing, you'd be five and five with your third and fourth finger, and then this finger, this bottom half actually would be like a normal G chord. You just put your fingers like it would be in a normal G power chord. Okay, so we can do eight hits on that as well. So we got So two times through of that is the intro. The verse is going to be three more times of that exact progression. But now since you're going to kind of bring it down for the verse and get tender and romantic and get the ladies or, or males involved in it, you know, like you're you're sucking them in. We want to add a little dynamic, so do a little palm muting. All you're doing is putting this part of your palm on the strings right about where it comes out from right here. So we got... See, it's already feeling more tender, isn't it? <laughs> then we're gonna do this three times. One more time. Now, there's a pre-chorus, and that's just gonna be three of the chords. It's gonna go B, Gonna keep the eight theme. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Pause. Bam. Fireworks chorus. You know the whole gig. The video gets awesome or whatever. But you're gonna pause two, three, four chorus. Okay. So it'd be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Boom, and then back into the chorus. Now the chorus, super similar to what we've done already, but you're gonna reverse two of the chords. So this time, instead of going D to B minor, we're gonna go D to A, B minor, G. Same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, 
Now, if you want to add a, something a little different, you just don't want to do down strokes the whole time, you can just as easily go. So one, two, down, up, three, four, down, up, one, two, down, up, three, four, down, up, three, four, two, three, four, one, two, down. And change it up a little bit. Don't mute during that part because you want to, you know, the song to lift and like be a little more woo, like you're you're in a power chorus singing your your brains out so that is literally the only parts of the song there's nothing different in the tune so just play around with the dynamics all we're doing is going back verse chorus verse chorus the transition after the chorus part or the tail end of the chorus is just that beginning verse riff All right, so let's play the whole chorus. the second chorus through or the second verse you know the pre-chorus part instead of stopping at five you know how we did one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five you can play all eight one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight chorus and just change it up so if you're by yourself you know try to make it as dynamic as possible you know with muting and open and downstrokes and strumming so it sounds like you know more of a whole band what what all the instruments might be doing if you were you know putting them all together and doing a solo gig and if you're in a full-blown band just rock out kick on the distortion have some fun yes way to go again don't forget that link down below that is your ticket to strumming paradise strumming nirvana i know it'll help you i promise <laughs> And if not, I, you know, what if I got nothing. If not, then just let me know. And just be like, dude, that freaking video sucked. You can't teach to save your life. <laughs> don't say that. Be nice. Be, like, think, give me a big hug even if you don't like the videos. And that reminds me, keep it positive and keep it fun and uplifting here at Pop Stash Pop. If you're in the comments and you're run across somebody that's, you know, negatively typing on the keys, pecking, be nice to them. They're having a hard time and as it is. So just big, big hug, big cyber hug. <laughs> and that would be awesome. So you guys are amazing. Tell your friends if you like what you see. My goal is 200,000 of you all happy campers by my birthday. I know we can do it out there. You're amazing. Thanks for the support. We'll catch you next time.